Mo so fi ko wa save ja. Wo save ja. Wo fe de no. Ko wa ni kokoro ni. Eru won lo pe. Put a seven on the top. Look at. Eh bu 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 fu ba se. Everything. Film it. The catcher was going to take it away. We did not have food. Yes! We did not have food to eat at the party. There's no meat. There's no meat. This one out there, and see, this is what you get her for. To do as a man, you believe me. I it put it on I Guys, that video you just watched, I'm short of words. Like when I saw the video, I was like, what the, like, what is going on here? The client paid you and you still had the audacity to hide meat. It's not normal though, but things like this happen, like caterers, you know, probably take meat and some food they hide it like i get it it's normal which is not supposed to be but i have never seen so much like meat being catted away like this like for her to have done this that means this is what she does on the normal and at the wedding or at the event they'll be saying no meat coserum 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 means no meat right not knowing that you don't pack a bit they don't pack ghana must go of meat hey guys welcome to my channel what it's been a while i feel like it's been like a year since i came up here to talk can't remember my intro again guys how have you been to my old subscribers my ogs thank you so much for sticking with me and to my new subscribers i gained a lot of subscribers um since i left thank you guys so much um for subscribing i hope you like it here i hope you've been enjoying your time here as well thank you thank you so much i'm getting my groove back you guys would know there's something cooking um i would share the news in due time you guys would know why i have why i was mia for a very 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 long time yes so anyways let's dive into the video already i mean if you're new here I do weddings on this channel. I talk about love. I talk about relationships and everything and anything in between that space of love. I'm a lover girl. I love love. And I mean, love is just sweet. Who doesn't love love? So yeah, on this channel, you get all of that and more. So anyways, let's dive into the video already. Let go. I'm short of words. Like when I saw the video, I was like, what the, like, what is going on here? So, I mean, some of the things they said, um, excuse me we're actually in um yoruba but i mean it's straightforward the video you can see there um this particular stuff happened in akure ondo state um it was an event and the caterers that were in charge of food actually hid that amount of meat i mean the client paid you and you still had the audacity to hide 
meat. See, I get it that it's not normal, though, but things like this happen. Like caterers, you know, probably take meat and some food, they hide it. Like, I get it, it's normal, which is not supposed to be, right? But the one that is now pinching me now is that, um, guys, please, if I'm not mistaken, that, that meat, I mean, those pieces of meat, if you sum it up, it's going to be up to a cow. Even if it's not up to a whole cow, it's going to be close. You know, God of mercy. And here we are shouting, government is doing bad. Government is greedy. Gov I mean, like, that's the height of greed. How would you pack so... Oh, my God. Pack so much. She wanted to take it to her house. Like, can you even finish that? <laughs> I don't get Like, number one is not your money, right? Number two, they paid you. Number three, can you even finish that meat? I'm sure she's going to share it to people. Maybe to how she, she's going to share it with her workers. Man, that is really, 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 really bad. Like, I just, I just kept on watching the video. Like, what is going on here? And like I said, this is something that happens. Like, events, weddings. It happens. But I have never seen so much, like, meat being catted away like this. Like, the thing that, that was not paining me was, was that they should have just put the vendor's name they would have published the vendor's name let's know let's scatter everywhere but i mean you know maybe the person was being um was being nice and you know they want to spoil the, um, the the vendor's business you know i get it but that is so bad for her to have done this that means this is what she does on the normal and at the wedding or at the event they'll be saying no meat cosero 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 means no meat right not knowing that you don't pack, I mean, they don't pack Ghana must go of meat. They were even talking about fish, that they didn't even sell fish at all at the event. They didn't sell fish. Because, I mean, right? The owner of the event cannot be all over. I mean, even if, oh, I paid for meat, I'm, I paid for fish. You cannot go around checking people's plates. Oh, the, was it fish they gave you? Was it meat they gave you? That is why it is advisable to have event planners for your events, right? That's why it's advisable. But on the other hand, even the event planner self, except she takes inventory of, you know, all the food that is going to be served there before it is being served. And at, at that self, you can't even count. You can't count the number of meats. You cannot count it one by one. If they say, okay, there's meat, you, you look at it, right? There's fish, you look at it. And maybe they actually even presented it on that day and when the event planner left or when the coordinator left they decided to hide it <sighs> so that's why i said you know things like this happen but i've never seen this much this is greed like total like complete greed like stealing stealing so i don't know if i went have like the 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 owner of the event i don't know if it's the owner of the event that was actually filming or the event planner that was filming but if i were in their shoes i don't even know what i would what i would do like i'll be so speechless and <laughs> i don't know i'll be so speechless so in the comment section sections of who were saying they should um the human the vendor should pay back um they should um, publish the vendor's name all of that i mean I don't know. I don't know. What would you do? I don't me for one. I swear I don't know what I would do if I were in their shoes. What would you do? Let me know what you would do in the comment section below. I would love, love, love to read from you. I mean, it's just crazy. Like really, really crazy. And we are here shouting, oh, Nigeria is bad. Oh, the, the, the our leaders are greedy. Of course, no doubt our leaders are greedy. But we too we are also greedy. Oh boy, just imagine this person is in charge of food for Maybe an event in Lagos State or you know in a state, um, you know, go reach anybody at all. So, guys, I don't know, I'm Belgian. So, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I would love, love, love to read from you. But you know, my advice is get an event planner because even if something like this happens normally, right, with an event planner, with an event coordinator, it reduces you know the risk and it reduces. <laughs> it's possible that even if they steal it it won't be up to that you know 
rather than ha rather than having no event planner and um, no coordinator at all at your events be it wedding burial naming ceremony anything just have somebody that will be in charge some people even go to the extent of putting somebody with the with the with the vendor with the caterer the person will stay with them be it a family member um, or a coordinator or somebody the person will be with them supervising because you know meats can just go missing anytime but if you're there at least it will reduce the the risk of if somebody is put there at least the, the risk would be reduced i hope that makes sense so anyways like i said let me know what you think in the comment section below i would love to read from you moving on guys is this particular video which i'm going to play now <laughs> so let's go and watch it <laughs> guys so i don't know what's going on here see you know um it's like weddings can be really really stressful for the bride especially because she has to do makeup she has to tie gele even that gele that they are tying for herself that it's tied on her head it can be affecting her mental state because they will tie it and some people they tie it very very um you know tightly and it can be giving you headache you know i get that it can affect your mood you know some things you may be even you may be seeing some things that i mean are not a bit are not going as you planned but you can't really do anything at that time so all these things can affect your mood on your wedding day but what you should not jeopardize is your happiness right it's your big day you should enjoy it to the fullest because it's going to come and it's going to go right so you can't kill yourself you've done your best so just i mean be happy <laughs> be happy so this particular couple i mean the the husband was talking to the bride um, the groom was talking to the bride and she was probably giving him attitude from what you saw in the video uh she didn't answer him so like i said we don't know what was going through her mind i don't know what was going through her mind um we don't know what, what was affecting her we don't know what she's seeing we don't know whether it's gay lady that's painting her and all of that but enjoy yourself be happy right it's just wedding is going to come and it's going to go the most important thing is you're married so i think she did not handle it so well like so many things can get you angry on your big day but it's not being your groom like uh -uh, it's not that deep it's not that deep <laughs> so anyways let me know what you guys think leave your comments in the comment section below i am back i am back and better guys yeah hopefully <laughs> so anyways let me hear what you guys think in the comment section below i'd love to read from you um yeah i think that's all for this video thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please subscribe if you liked the video give me a very big thumbs up and um yeah share the video do anything you like you know you know you know thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one